What if the greatest enemy you ever faced was your own future? What if the path you've chosen, the ideals you've sworn to uphold, lead to a life of endless regret? This is the battle where one young hero confronts the embodiment of his own shattered dreams. The battlefield within Unlimited. Bladeworks is a haunting sight. A desolate wasteland filled with countless swords. Each a representation of a dream, once held and then abandoned. The sky is tinged with red, casting a somber glow over the scene. Standing at the center of this vast armory are two figures, Shiru Amiya and Archer. To Shiru, this battle is not just about survival, but about defending the very ideals that have defined his life. To Archer, it is a chance to destroy the naivety of his younger self and prevent him from walking the same path of futility and regret. Shiru Emiya is a young mage who has long dreamed of becoming a hero of justice, a protector of the innocent who can save everyone in need. This dream was born from the trauma of the Fuyuki Fire, an event that left an indelible mark on his soul and fueled his desire to prevent such tragedies from happening again. But now, Shiru faces a challenge unlike any he has encountered before, a confrontation with the embodiment of his own future, Archer, who seeks to tear down everything Shiru believes in, for Shiro, this battle is a test of his resolve. Archer is not just another enemy. He is a mirror reflecting the potential future that Shiro may one day face. Archer is the embodiment of Shiro's ideals taken to their extreme. A future where the pursuit of justice has led to nothing but endless killing and regret. The stakes of this battle are more than just life and death. They are about the very essence of Shiru's identity and the path he has chosen to follow. How does a hero become a cynic? What happens when the dreams of saving the world twist into a nightmare of endless violence? Meet Shiru Emiya, the young mage who dreams of becoming a hero, and Archer, the man who once held those same dreams before they were shattered by the harshness of reality. From a young age, Shiro Emiya has been driven by a single, unwavering desire to become a hero of justice. This ideal was born from the ashes of the Fuyuki Fire, a catastrophic event that claimed the lives of countless people and left Shiru as one of the few survivors. Rescued by Kiritsugu Emiya, a man who once shared the same ideals, Shiru inherited his adoptive father's dream of saving others at all costs. Shiru's idealism is both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. He is willing to put his own life on the line to protect others, even if it means sacrificing his own happiness. But this unyielding belief in justice also blinds him to the harsh realities of the world, a world where not everyone can be saved and where the pursuit of justice can lead to unintended consequences. As Shiro stands before Archer, he is confronted with the possibility that his ideals may be nothing more than a childish fantasy. Archer is the embodiment of Shiro's future, a future where the pursuit of justice has led to a life of endless killing and regret. For Shiro, this battle is a chance to prove that his ideals are worth fighting for, even in the face of overwhelming doubt and despair. Archer is not just a servant, he is Shiro's future self, a manifestation of what Shiru could become if he continues to pursue his ideals without question. Once sharing the same dreams and aspirations as Shiru, Archer has lived through the consequences of those ideals and has come to see them as a curse rather than a blessing. Archer's cynicism is born from a lifetime of being used as a tool for others forced to kill in the name of justice, only to realize that his actions have done little to bring about true peace. He has become disillusioned with the very ideals that once defined him, seeing them as nothing more than a path to endless suffering. For Archer, the only way to break free from this cycle of futility is to destroy his past self, Shiru, and prevent him from making the same mistakes. As Archer faces Shiro on the battlefield, he is driven by a desire to crush the naivety of his younger self. 
He believes that by destroying Shiro's ideals, he can spare him from the pain and regret that he's endured. But as the battle progresses, Archer begins to see a reflection of his former self in Shiro's determination. A reflection that forces him to confront the possibility that Shiro's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The stakes of this battle are not just about survival, they are about the very essence of Shiro's identity and the path he has chosen to follow. For Shiro, this battle is a chance to prove that his ideals are worth fighting for, even in the face of overwhelming doubt and despair. For Archer, it is a chance to break free from the cycle of heroism that has defined his life and prevent Shiro from making the same mistakes. This battle is a clash of ideologies, a confrontation between idealism and realism. Shiro's youthful idealism is pitted against Archer's jaded cynicism, creating a profound and emotionally charged atmosphere. The outcome of this battle will determine not only Shiro's future, but also the fate of the ideals that have defined him. When faced with the embodiment of your future self, what would you do? Would you stand firm in your beliefs or crumble under the weight of a lifetime of regret? Shiro's resolve is about to be tested in a way he never imagined. As Shiro stands before Archer, his resolve is stronger than ever. He knows that this battle will be his greatest challenge yet, but he is determined to protect his ideals, even when confronted with the harsh truth that, that they may lead to his own suffering. Shiro's journey has been one of growth and self-discovery, and he is ready to put everything he has learned to the test. Shiro's determination is fueled by his belief in justice and his desire to protect others. He knows that Archer is a manifestation of his future self, but he refuses to let that deter him. For Shiro, this battle is not just about survival, it's about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for, even in the face of overwhelming odds. He is determined to show Archer that the pursuit of justice is not a curse, but a path worth following. But even as Shiru's resolve is unshakable, he knows that this battle will not be easy. Archer is a formidable opponent, with skills and experience far beyond Shiru's own. The tension between them is palpable, as Shiru prepares to face the embodiment of his own future in a battle that will determine the fate of his ideals. To Archer, this battle is not just about defeating Shiru, but about destroying the very ideals that have defined him. Archer believes that the pursuit of justice is a path to endless suffering and regret, and he is determined to prevent Shiru from making the same mistakes. His motivation is not born from malice, but from a deep-seated desire to protect his younger self from the pain he has endured. Archer's intent is clear. He seeks to crush Shiro's spirit and force him to abandon his ideals. He believes that by destroying Shiro's naivety, he can spare him from the life of regret and disillusionment that he has experienced. Mm. But as the battle progresses, Archer begins to see a reflection of his former self in Shiro's determination. A reflection that forces him to confront the possibility that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The tension between Shiru and Archer is heightened by their shared identity, as both are fighting not just for survival, but for the very essence of who they are. The stage is set for a confrontation that will determine the future of Shiru's ideals and the fate of the hero he has always dreamed of becoming. As Shiru and Archer stand facing each other, the tension in the air is palpable, the stakes of this battle could not be higher. The fate of Shiru's ideals and the future he has envisioned hang in the balance. But, even as the battle begins, Shiru knows that he is facing an enemy unlike any he has faced before. Archer's power and experience are overwhelming, and his cynicism challenges everything Shiru believes in. The tension of the confrontation is heightened by the contrast between Shiro's determination and Archer's jaded realism. Shiro is fighting for everything he holds dear, while Archer is driven by a desire to destroy the very ideals 
that have defined his life. But as the battle progresses, the tension reaches its peak as Sheru's resolve is put to the ultimate test and Archer's cynicism is challenged. As the battle reaches its climax, the tension becomes almost unbearable. Shiro's strength is pushed to its limits, and Archer's power threatens to overwhelm him. But even in the face of overwhelming odds, Shiro refuses to give up. He knows that this battle is not just about defeating Archer, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. The stage is set for a confrontation that will determine the future of Shiru's ideals and the legacy of the hero he has always dreamed of becoming. When ideals clash with reality, who wins? The hero who believes in justice? The warrior who knows the cost of those beliefs? As the blades clash, so do their convictions in a battle that will leave only one standing. The battle begins with an explosive clash of swords and ideals. Shiru wielding his twin blades Kanshu and Bakuya, engages Archer in a fierce duel within the desolate landscape of unlimited blade works. Each strike is a testament to their conflicting beliefs, with Shiru fighting to defend his ideals and Archer seeking to destroy them. Archer's superior skills and experience initially overpower Shiru, reflecting the overwhelming nature of the reality Shiru must confront. Archer's movements are precise and calculated, each strike aimed at breaking Shiru's resolve. But despite the disparity in their abilities, Shiru refuses to back down. His determination to protect his ideals and prove that they are worth fighting for keeps him in the fight, even as Archer's relentless attacks push him to his limits. The tension between Shiru and Archer is palpable, as both are fighting not just for survival, but for the very essence of who they are. The battlefield itself, filled with countless swords representing the dreams and ideals of countless heroes serves as a reminder of the weight of their confrontation. The music swells, capturing the intensity of the battle and the stakes involved. As the battle progresses, Shiro is forced to confront his own doubts and fears. Archer's words cut deep, challenging Shiro's belief in his ideals and forcing him to question whether his dream of becoming a hero of justice is truly worth pursuing. Archer's cynicism and bitterness are on full display as he reveals the harsh reality of the path Shiru has chosen to follow. Shiro's internal struggle is heightened by the realization that Archer is not just an enemy but a manifestation of his own future self. The knowledge that he could one day become the very person he is fighting against weighs heavily on Shiro as he grapples with the possibility that his ideals may lead to a life of endless suffering and regret. But even as Shirao's resolve is shaken, he refuses to give in to despair. He knows that this battle is not just about defeating Archer, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. Shirao's determination and resolve challenge everything Archer believes in, forcing him to confront the possibility that Shirao's path though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. Archer's relentless attack is driven by a desire to break free from the cycle of heroism that has defined his life. He sees Shiru's idealism as a curse, one that will lead to nothing but pain and regret. Archer's strikes are precise and calculated, each one aimed at breaking Shiru's resolve and forcing him to abandon his ideals. But even as Archer's attacks push Shiru to his limits, Shiru refuses to back down. He knows that this battle is not just about survival, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. She, Shiru's determination and resolve challenge everything Archer believes in, forcing him to confront the possibility that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The tension between Shiru and Archer is heightened by their shared identity, as both are fighting not just for survival, but for the very essence of who they are. The battlefield itself, filled with countless swords, representing the dreams and ideals of countless heroes, serves as a reminder of the weight of their confrontation. In the heart of the battle, the lines between hero and cynic blur. Can Shiru hold on to his ideals? or will he be consumed by the harsh truths Archer lays bare? 
As the battle reaches its peak, Shiru's determination is stronger than ever. Despite the overwhelming power of Archer and the doubts that have plagued him, Shiru refuses to give up. He knows that this battle is not just about survival, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. The intensity of the battle is reflected in the music, a powerful, dramatic, orchestral score that underscores the gravity of the moment and the stakes of the battle. Shiru's determination to protect his ideals and prove that they are worth fighting for keeps him in the fight, even as Archer's relentless attacks push him to his limits. But even as Shiru's resolve is unshakable, he knows that this battle will not be easy. Archer is a formidable opponent, with skills and experience far beyond Shiro's own. The tension between them is palpable. As Shiru pairs to face the embodiment of his own future in a battle that will determine the fate of his ideals. As the battle reaches its climax, Archer delivers a monologue that reveals the truth about their shared identity and the tragic future that awaits Shiru if he continues on his current path. Archer's words are filled with bitterness and regret as he recounts the countless lives he has taken in the name of justice, only to realize that his actions have done little to bring about true peace. The dark, reflective orchestral music accompanying Archer's monologue conveys a sense of melancholy and inevitability as Archer tries to convince Shiru to abandon his ideals and prevent the cycle of heroism from repeating itself. Archer's cynicism is on full display as he seeks to crush Shiru's spirit and force him to confront the harsh reality of the path he has chosen to follow. But even as Archer's words cut deep, Shiru refuses to give up. He knows that this battle is not just about defeating Archer, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. Shiru's determination and resolve challenge everything Archer believes in, forcing him to confront the possibility that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. In response to Archer's monologue, Shiru reaffirms his commitment to his ideals, despite knowing the potential consequences. Shiru's words are filled with determination and resolve as he refuses to abandon his dream of becoming a hero of justice, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The emotional intensity of this moment is underscored by a swelling orchestral score that captures Shiru's resolve to continue fighting for what he believes in. Shiru's determination and resolve challenge everything Archer believes in, forcing him to confront the possibility that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The tension between Shiru and Archer is heightened by their shared identity, as both are fighting not just for survival, but for the very essence of who they are. The battlefield itself, filled with countless swords, representing the dreams and ideals of countless heroes, serves as a reminder of the weight of their confrontation. The music swells, capturing the intensity of the battle and the stakes involved. The final blow isn't just a test of strength, it's a test of will. When the dust settles, will Shiru stand by his ideals, or will he fall like the countless swords scattered across this barren battlefield? As the battle reaches its climax, Shiru realizes that, despite the potential for suffering and regret, he cannot abandon his ideals. This realization gives him the strength to push forward, even in the face of Archer's superior skills and bitter cynicism. The music should reflect a shift in tone moving from tension and conflict to determination and resolve. Shrew's determination to protect his ideals and prove that they are worth fighting for keeps him in the fight, even as Archer's relentless attacks push him to his limits. Shrew's resolve is unshakable, and he is determined to show Archer that the pursuit of justice is not a curse, but a path worth following. But even as Shrew's resolve is unshakable, he knows that this battle will not be easy. Archer is a formidable opponent, with skills and experience far beyond Shiru's own. The tension between them is palpable, as Shiru prepares to face the embodiment of his own future in a battle that will determine the fate of his ideals. As the battle reaches its climax, Archer begins to see a reflection of his former self in Shiru's determination. This recognition creates a moment of hesitation in Archer as he confronts the possibility that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The final clash between Shiru and Archer is a battle of wills as much as it is a battle of swords. 
The music should reach a dramatic crescendo, emphasizing the intensity of their final exchange and the significance of the outcome. Despite being overpowered, Shiru's unwavering resolve allows him to land a decisive blow, symbolizing his victory over the doubts that Archer represents. In the final moments of the battle, Shiro's resolve is stronger than ever. Despite the overwhelming power of Archer and the doubts that have plagued him, Shiro refuses to give up. He knows that this battle is not, is not just about survival, but about proving that his ideals are worth fighting for. The intensity of the battle is reflected in the music, a powerful, dramatic orchestral score that underscores the gravity of the moment and the stakes of the battle. Shiru's determination to protect his ideals and prove that they are worth fighting for keeps him in the fight, even as Archer's relentless attacks push him to his limits. But even as Shiru's resolve is unshakable, he knows that this battle will not be easy. Archer is a formidable opponent with skills and experience far beyond Shiru's own. The tension between them is palpable. As Shiru prepares to face the embodiment of his own future in a battle that will determine the fate of his ideals. Victory comes not just from strength, but from an unwavering belief in your own path. As Shiru stands over the fallen archer, he knows that his journey is far from over, but his resolve has never been stronger. In the end, Shiru emerges victorious, not because of his physical strength, but because of his unwavering belief in his ideals. Shiru's victory is a testament to his growth as a character and his commitment to becoming a hero of justice, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The music during this scene should be uplifting and triumphant, reflecting Shiru's determination to continue fighting for what he believes in. Despite the hardships that lie ahead, Shiru's resolve is unshakable, and he is ready to face whatever challenges come his way. As Archer fades away, he reflects on the battle and the lessons he has learned. While he may have lost the battle, he sees the continuation of his ideals in Shiru, and he acknowledges that Shiru's path, though fraught with hardship, may still hold value. The music during this scene should be somber yet hopeful, reflecting Archer's acceptance of his defeat and his recognition of the value of Shiru's ideals. The battle may be over, but the journey toward peace is just beginning, and Shiru is ready to lead the way. The battle between Shiro and Archer was not just a physical confrontation, but a clash of ideologies that will have a lasting impact on the future of the hero Shiro has always dreamed of becoming. Shiro's victory was not just a triumph of strength, but a testament to the power of determination and resolve in overcoming the doubts and fears that have plagued him. The battle may be over, but the journey toward becoming a hero of justice is far from complete, and Shiru is ready to continue on the path he has chosen.